Hi guys and welcome back to some more Hero Academy 2. We are back with the Cancel Rescue campaign. This one is number 8 and there's actually more chapters than I thought. I thought there was only 9. There is actually 12 to complete. So a few more to go. This one I'm going to jump in on normal difficulty but I'm mixing things up. Jumping in with the Dark Elf starter deck. A bit of poison versus poison and try and get some phantoms versus phantoms as well. Let's see how we go. This one is called It's the Pits. Defeat the evil presence waiting for you in the pits. It's the only way forward. Been very tough. Wish me luck. Let's jump into it. Okay, It's the Pits. Basically we have to defeat Marax. He has 20 HP and we have two crystals at 8 HP each. But they drop in a lot of units, so it's quite a tough one. But uh, let's see how we go. Now our Marax, the normal Marax, is 1 and 4, but the boss version is actually 2 and 20. Uh, so a lot tankier. Also has boss and veil abilities as well. So it does make that very difficult. Now they're going to be dropping a lot of phantoms, a lot of wraiths, and these chamber pots, which are like mini versions of tongue buckets, which have 2 HP instead of 6, and have uh, poison damage as well. So they are quite difficult to go up against. Um, let's drop in that spiderling. And really I'd love to... Actually poison that on this turn and take the shot there. That will die next turn. Okay, and end it right there. These wraiths are going to be very difficult to go up against. Um, they can get buffed up quite a lot by eating, eating heroes like you did just there. Plus one attack, plus one HP when you eat a KO hero. So it becomes very difficult. And also Marax summoning in all these extra phantoms of very difficult to take care of. Let's see how we go. Uh, what have we got? We've got some phantoms to bring along though as well. So let's drop one of those in. Phantom versus phantom. That's definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to move my archer. Yes, I'm going to move my archer back. Take that shot. And I'm going to drop Marax in. My Marax, definitely not as strong as the boss version. Drop that in as well. Get a bit more damage down there on their Wraith. Big plans for you next turn. That doesn't sound good. I think he's going to drop a lot of Phantoms in. Uh, I'll probably use Biting Hail when that comes up. And hopefully just destroy them all at once. Will work out quite nicely for us. Okay, let's see how we go. We've got more chamber pots coming in. Okay. Now, what sort of damage can we put down here? We can take both of those out with one attack, which would be lovely. I think that, that's going to die on the next turn anyway, so let's take that out first. And take that out. Now, deal of one damage, ally gains one movement. I feel like that's not going to be necessary. Bring some poison down there, though, might help out a lot. And we could actually kill that off now as well. Awesome. And let's see if we get lucky. Hey, that's not too bad. That's going to give it one HP as well, so that's... That's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's drop in Ragebringer down there as well. And I'm going to rush Ragebringer up. Hopefully get some damage on Marax. There's the bunch of phantoms I was waiting for. So, Biting Hail might have to come up soon. Although, if we can take out most of them without it, I might save it for a, for a later stage. They do get a lot of units this deck becomes quite difficult. Now that that little extra bonus there is very helpful, but oh damn, the brain basher can be an absolute pain. Must have been 
So we really want to take him out. And all those extra spiders as well. So if we use this now, it will take out a lot of units for us, which would be which would be very nice, I have to admit. It might be worth it actually. Um, although doing a bit of damage to this spider might be worth it as well. So that actually worked out pretty good. Um, I'm going to poison this guy. And that's probably... I put in a Fang Glider. Fang Glider is probably going to die to any of the attacks straight away, which is not really what I want. Um, I can put in a Gurgle Pop though on this side, so let's put that down there. Probably going to keep this back in defense for the moment. Just for safety. Big plans next turn, so more big plans coming up. I think this time around it's a bunch of the pots. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Now that's going to die next turn. So that's going to be amazing and actually be able to kill it this turn though, which is even better. Now we could get some extra damage for this guy if I attack Marax, but then I might also lose him, which is not really what I want to do. Um, kind of want to keep that there as well. Let's just keep it as it is for now. I'm actually quite liking that. Now that might not work out in our favor. That's going to buff Barax up. All damage heroes gain one attack. I might actually discard that for now. Ooh, fever. Nice. I feel like that was not going to work out in our favor. Let's poison this guy back here. And fever him as well. He'll probably die coming up soon. There's the bunch of chamber pots that I was waiting for. Yes. Okay, keeping Marax live back here as well with his chain lightning is really helping us out. Okay, now we could get a lot of extra damage down here by doing that. I don't want to summon anyone else in yet, so let's do that. That is amazing. Um, we get some more damage there, some more damage there, and can res some guys there too. Very nice. I'm pretty happy with the way that turn unfolded for us. Um, the Fang Glider I could drop in as well. I feel like I should keep it. No, I'm actually going to take care of their Chamber Pot there. Okay, pretty happy with that. Archer took a bit of damage and Marax took a bit of damage as well. But for the Archer, we get that extra attack, which is very nice. And now we might be able to get a bit of damage down on Marax too. As long as yes. these guys up here don't die, we get a bit of damage down on him too. Which will help us out a lot. I don't think they're going to be able to kill it this turn. They'll get close, but I don't think they're going to be able to kill it. So that is lucky. Yes. We're going to get an attack in here. That's an extra two damage. So that's amazing. Um, and we're not quite, not close enough to get damage there though. Let's poison that. Two piercing damage there. Just kind of wasteful if I use it now. I might move him over a little though. To this spot for now. Should I pull in the Fang Glider? I feel like Marax is just going to take it out with his Chain Lightning though. So it's probably not going to work out too well. Saving the three mana though for Terminus might be more beneficial and also perhaps taking out one of these although their archer as well needs to be taken out so a lot of tough choices I might just save the mana we'll see how we go oh Marax got buffed up how did he get buffed up I'm not sure how he got buffed up actually that's a bit annoying 
Oh, and that's hurt. That's hurt me quite a lot there. Taken out. These guys lasted a long time. Put in a very good effort there. Unfortunately have died. Now I could drop one on everything to start off. Kind of clean the board a little. Do a little bit of damage with Fang Glider and then maybe attack on the next turn. I think I'm going to do that. For now. There we go. Bit of extra damage there. Still enough for Terminus next turn though. Hopefully he stays in range. And a Shadow Raid too, which is not really what I want to see. That's okay. Terminus can come in this turn. Put down a stack of damage. Let's see if we get it on... Oh, I kind of wanted it on the Chamber Pot there. Unfortunately, we didn't. Only 6 HP to go, and we're on 10 HP, so things are looking pretty good at the moment. Although I've only got one hero down on the floor, which is not really what I want. And I lost some good units in the last few turns too. And look at all the units they're summoning into. They're so cheap to get in there. He's going to get buffed up quite a lot. I'm hoping he does attack me. Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. I thought he was going to attack my... I thought he was actually going to attack my Terminus there, but he does not. Although, I think we might be able to get the victory here nonetheless. We get one there, Tongue Bucket to finish off with the one damage. That one was very tough. I've had a few goes at that. But the Poison versus Poison turned out to be another amazing battle. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more Hero Academy 2 videos, make sure you're hitting that notification bell. And I hope to catch you all next time.